I've noticed a lot of issues with some users in terms of the way that they name their pools, for example. Uh, and my pool is just named tank, and it's named with no spaces and all lowercase letters. But I've noticed some users don't do that. So if you're one of those users who's got some spaces or special characters or capitalization in your pool name, today I'm going to show you how to rename that. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to exp well, I'm going to show you guys where the steps for this is. So come over to the, the, the wiki, let's go to true not scale, and you'll see renaming a pool is all the way at the bottom. There we go. So the first thing we want to do is go to storage pool and export disconnect. Storage pool, we're going to want to click this export disconnect. We are going to want to confirm export disconnect. So one of the things I'm going to tell you about, actually before I do this, is if you've got some other things that are going on, like um, we have some services that depend on this pool. When we rename this pool, anything that's pointed to this pool, like my Dockage app, for example, which is using Mount Tank, um, and, and, a, and a few other things, like if you had any shares going on, or if you had any uh, backup tests or replication tests or any, any classic, any of that stuff, anything that's pointed to your existing pool is going to break because when we change the pool name, everything that's looking for Mount Tank is not going to be there. So just know that when you do this, that's what's going to happen. So I'm going to confirm export disconnect. Okay, so we've successfully exported the pool, which means apps really shouldn't be here either because, yeah, see, look, it's that stop because it's not anywhere. So that's successfully worked. So I have no pool here. So now the next thing we want to do, according to our directions, is we want to go into the shell and we're going to run this command. zpool import. So let's go into our system and let's go into our shell. And now we're going to run this command. First thing I want to do is do a sudo su. There we go. Pool import. All right, so the old pool name is tank, and the new pool name is going to be dozer. And you'll see that is the way it's here, original name, space, new name. So this is going to be tank and dozer. Okay, import was successful. That's fine. That's what I want to say. Now it's going to say z pool status of dozer. Dozer. There we go. It is online. That's good. That's what I want to see. And now I'm going to want a Z pool export dozer. Okay. Now we're good. Let's go back into our storage. We are going to want to import pool. And our pool is dozer. And that's our pool. Okay. Now you'll notice that my usage is still 59% because all my data is here. These are all my data sets. These are all the configs we had here before. Nothing is lost. Now the app server still isn't running because I haven't started it yet because I haven't picked the pool because I deleted the pool the apps are on. I recommend you do this with pool that your apps are not on, but it's totally fine because I can choose Dozer and get my apps running in two seconds. And they're there. I don't recommend you do this with your apps pool. Usually people do this for big data pool, but if you do it with your apps pool, it'll work. You'll notice that Docker just crashed. That's because it's looking for Mount Tank Stacks. It is not there. It is now a Mount Dozer Stacks. Now it will redeploy, and it's working just fine. So you'll see that's how to rename a pool. I'm going to rename it back after this video ends, but I just want you guys to see that in the event you have a pool and you need to rename it because you have things like special characters, spaces, or uppercase letters, this is what you want to do.